It is Kitty. Lovely James, today's quiet time is book of Matthew chapter 24 verses 1 to 14. So let's read it together. Verse 1 it said, Jesus left the temple. He was walking away when his disciples came up to him. They wanted to call his attention to the temple buildings. Do you see all of these things? Jesus asked. What I'm about to tell you is true. Not one stone here will be left on top of the other. Every stone will be thrown down. Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives. There the disciples came to him in private. Tell us, they said, what will this happen? And what will be the sign of your coming? What will be the sign of the end? Then Jesus answered, keep watch. You will also hear people talking about future worlds. Don't be alone. Those things must happen. But the end still isn't here. Then people will hand you over to be treated badly and killed. All nations will hate you because of me. At that time, many will turn away from their faith. They will hate each other because evil will grow. Most people's love will grow cold. But the one who remains strong in the faith will be saved. This good news of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world. It will be a witness to all nations, then the end will come. Amen. Okay, so the potter's will. The teachers and leaders will treat the disciples badly for following Jesus. So they must pay attention and keep their faith strong. Sadly, many others will give up on Jesus and stop believing. Many others will hate each other, but they must have strong faith and help one another to stay strong. 
together, they must share the good news with the whole world. Jesus' disciples suffer and are sometimes treated badly, but they must keep strong faith by paying attention to Jesus' commands and loving one another. Thank you, Pastor David, for reading the Word of God. See, today's message or our quiet time title is called Strong Faith. We know what strong means, right? The strength. But what is it? Faith? Faith is something that we believe in. But it's special because we're believing in something that we cannot see with our bare eyes. See, we talked about the things that we know exist in the past, such as wind, temperature, or even emotions. We can't see with our bare eyes, but we're able to feel and tell that it does exist. Just like that, we know that our God, our one true God exists. Amen? All right. So it's talking about a lot of things in this verse here. Matthew chapter 24, verses 1 through 14. At first, it talks about Jesus and the destructions of temple. But in this verse here, we got to know that Jesus is talking to the disciples. Jesus is telling the disciples that the temple will crumble and it will fall apart because there will be a war. War by who? With what? Roman Empire will come and destroy the temple and also the natural events will end up falling apart, tearing the temple. Jesus tells the disciples not to worry, not to depend on the temple because troubles were only like the beginning of the new age. What a beautiful news. But one thing that I want to highlight in this verses here is verse 13. It says, but the one who remains strong in the faith will be saved. Amen. Jesus goes on and he talks about false messiah. He's saying that people will tell others that they are the true messiah and people will be confused and some will stop believing our one true God. But we got to know and recognize our true messiah, which is our Jesus Christ, the son of God. You guys, like I said in the beginning, faith comes from our belief belief in the things that we don't see faith that jesus is always with us faith that jesus died on the cross for our sins faith that jesus came back to life on the third day that's the faith all we need to do is believe see jesus took all the hard works and what we could do is simply obey and simply believe and have faith in the word of god Let's read our verse 13 one more time, and Pastor Cho will end us with our prayer. So let's read one more time. It says, But the one who remains strong in the faith will be saved. Amen. Let's remember that and let's stay strong, faithfully. Okay, let's all pray together. Dear Jesus, please help me, my family, friends, and others around me. We want to keep our faith strong together. Help us to pay attention and love one another. I pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi guys, since we don't have craft activities on our QT today, so we are going to do word search puzzle on page seven all together. So go to page seven. And there is word search puzzle. So get your highlighters or pens ready and let's find the word puzzle. All right, let's get started. First, eternal, eternal. I'm gonna find eternal. Oh, finer, just like it. I found finer, just finer. Eternal. Terrible, eternal, eternal, e. Eternal, eternal, eternal. 
eternal. Oh, yeah, what is it? Eternal. E T E R E T E T E R. Eternal. 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 Messiah. Savior. Messiah. Messiah. Only. And in SSI. Messiah. Donkey. D O N K E Y. Donkey. Wedding. Hmm. Wedding. Perfume. Perfume. P E R. Perfume. Hosanna. Hosanna. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, riding a donkey, people call Hosanna. Judas. What did Judas do? Judas betrayed Jesus. Judas. Rooster. Rooster hide when Peter betrayed Jesus. And Peter. P T R and Peter. Peter. Oh yes. Cross. Cross. Last one. Cross. Where is it? Jesus died on the cross for us. Hmm. Cross. Oh, it's hard. Cross. Cross. Oh, can't find it, guys. Cross. Oh no, I need I think I need to look at the answer key. I could I can find it. The answer key is on page 102. You can there's no here. Cross. Huh? MG! One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 40. Oh! <gasps> Come on, guys, I think they made a mistake. I don't think they have crossed over here. If you find it, I think that's extra credit for you, but I don't think they have crossed. So, 11 words. If you find found 11 words, that's all done. Good job, guys. Have fun, and see you next week. Bye bye. It is.